respected audience assalamu alaikum i am professor shamsud juman professor of pathology i welcome all in today's 11th lecture on hematology today i will discuss about hemorrhagic disorders today day 1 of hemorrhagic disorders day one hemorrhagic disorder today's topic is thrombocytopenia and itp today's topic is thrombocytopenia and itp idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura before going to discuss about thrombocytopenia and idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura we have to recapitulate about hemorrhagic disorder first come to hemorrhagic disorder what we mean about hemorrhagic disorder i mean what is the definition of hemorrhagic disorder just we want to recapitulate a group of disorder so hemorrhagic disorder is a group of disorder characterized by abnormal tendency to bleed abnormal tendency to bleed why due to defect in mechanism of hemostasis there is defect in hemostatic mechanism it is called hemorrhagic disorder there are dens if this is blood vessel this is the wall of blood vessel composed of collagen fiber elastic fiber this is the endothelial lining you know this is the form elements at blood and blood flows like this blood flows like this if there is disruption and hemorrhage if there is a disruption and hemorrhage hemorrhage here this is called hemorrhage when there is hemorrhage the blood vessel blood vessel platelet and coagulation factors and coagulation factors all three plays role and there is coordinated role coordinated action of blood vessel platelet and coagulation factor so there is hemostasis and there is stoppage of bleeding there is hemostasis so hemostasis mechanism is carried by coordinated action of blood vessel platelet and coagulation factor if there is any defect in this one of these three if there is any defect either defect in the blood vessel or defect in the platelet or defect or deficiency of coagulation factor there will be no coordination there will be no coordinated mechanism so there will be abnormal tendency to bleed and this is called hemorrhagic disorder due to defect in either in blood vessel or defect in platelet or deficiency of coagulation factor and we can classify hemorrhagic disorder into three types types of hemorrhagic disorder one is hemorrhagic disorder due to vascular defect another is hemorrhagic disorder due to platelet defect and another is hemorrhagic disorder due to coagulation coagulation factor deficiency deficiency today come to platelet defect come to platelet defect come to platelet defect 
the there are two types of platelet defect that are associated with hemorrhagic disorder platelet defect two types one is one is quantitative defect one is quantitative defect that is in this type of defect the quantity or number of platelet is decreased it is called thrombocytopenia it is called thrombocytopenia that is decreased platelet count another is qualitative defect qualitative defect of platelet here the count of platelet is quite normal but the quality of platelet is defective what is the defect in quality there is functional defect in platelet and this functional defect in platelet is called thrombosthenia thrombosthenia what is thrombosthenia is the functional defect of platelet the audience now come to thrombocytopenia that is quantitative defect of platelet that is thrombocytopenia to this topic thrombocytopenia first then itp the today's topic is thrombocytopenia and itp first come to thrombocytopenia what we mean about thrombocytopenia decreased count of platelet platelet below normal is called thrombocytopenia is called thrombocytopenia now come to a uh, normal count of platelet is 1.5 lakh to 3.5 lakh or 4 lakh or 4.5 lakh per cubic millimeter of blood so the total count of platelet normal 1.5 lakh to 3.5 lakh or 4 lakh or 4.5 lakh per cubic millimeter of blood if the total count of platelet is less than if less than 1.5 lakh per cubic millimeter of blood then it is called thrombocytopenia now come to what are the types of thrombocytopenia types of thrombocytopenia it may be primary thrombocytopenia it may be primary thrombocytopenia it is called itp idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura is nothing but primary thrombocytopenia another is secondary thrombocytopenia secondary thrombocytopenia this secondary thrombocytopenia this thrombocytopenia is due to certain diseases following certain diseases there is thrombocytopenia and it is called secondary thrombocytopenia now come to first what are the causes of th secondary thrombocytopenia now come the causes of secondary thrombocytopenia i mean what are the diseases what are the situations what are the conditions where there is thrombocytopenia secondarily causes of 
thrombocytopenia secondary. One is drug as for example, anti cancer drug, anti cancer drug. That means, if anybody is treated with anti cancer drug, what it does, how it causes thrombocytopenia, how anti cancer drug causes thrombocytopenia. The anti cancer drug, anti cancer drug acts upon bone marrow and causes bone marrow depression. It causes bone marrow depression. As bone marrow depression, there will be decreased production of RBC, WBC and platelet. And you know the decreased RBC leads to anemia, decreased WBC leads to leukopenia and decreased platelet is known as thrombocytopenia. So, anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia what is the term? It is called pancytopenia. So, anti cancer drug acts upon bone marrow, causes marrow depression, and ultimately it causes pancytopenia. And due to pancytopenia, there is thrombocytopenia secondarily to application of anti cancer drug. Another cause aplastic anemia aplastic anemia. Dear audience, you know in aplastic anemia, there is a hypoplasia of marrow, the marrow material is decreased and within the marrow, the fat is increased. So, in aplastic anemia, we get pancytopenia, in within the pancytopenia, there is thrombocytopenia. Another cause is acute leukemia, like acute myeloblastic leukemia like acute lymphoblastic leukemia. You know acute myeloblastic leukemia in, in acute lymphoblastic leukemia patient suffers from thrombocytopenia. Other causes of secondary thrombocytopenia bone marrow infiltration or marrow replacement or marrow replacement. What are the causes of marrow infiltration or marrow replacement? That audience, if this is the medullary cavity and if this is the bone cortical part and this is the marrow. One of the cause of infiltration or marrow displacement is myelofibrosis. Myelofibrosis. There are means if the fibrous tissue or the fibrosis occurs within the marrow, there will be decreased production of RBC, WBC, and platelet, and it will lead to thrombocytopenia. If myelofibrosis occurs within the marrow, if myelofibrosis occurs within the marrow, there will be decreased production of RBC, WBC and platelet and it will lead to pancytopenia and that is one of the important features of pancytopenia is thrombocytopenia and it is secondarily to myelofibrosis. Another is multiple myeloma, multiple myeloma. Dear audience, you know multiple myeloma is the uh, cancer of plasma cell that occurs in OCS tissue multifocally. If anybody suffers from multiple myeloma, the marrow medullary cavity is packed up with myeloma cell that is the cancer cell or plasma cell that is it is packed up by the myeloma cell. So, there will be pancytopenia and so there is thrombocytopenia. Another is metastatic tumor. metastatic tumor of bone. Dear audience, if anybody suffers from metastatic tumor of bone, that is if can any cancer infiltrates or metastasis in the bone, 
it will occupy the medullary cavity and there will be decreased RBC, WBC and platelet production. One is drug, aplastic anemia, acute leukemia, bone marrow infiltration or marrow replacement. Now come to what are other causes of secondary thrombocytopenia, hypersplenism. Hypersplenism. What are other causes? Some less, some less common causes. Some less common causes of secondary thrombocytopenia. What are those? One is infection, one is liver disease, another is massive blood transfusion. Messy blood transfusion. So, if anybody suffers from infection, there is chance of thrombocytopenia. If anybody suffers from liver disease like hepatitis caused by hepatitis C virus, he or she may develop pancytopenia or may develop thrombocytopenia and massive blood transfusion. So, these are the causes of secondary thrombocytopenia. Now, come to ITP. Dear audience, now come to ITP. It is called idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. What are other names of idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura? Other names. Other names of ITP. It is called primary thrombocytopenic purpura. It is called primary thrombocytopenic purpura and it is also called or it is called essential thrombocytopenic essential thrombocytopenic purpura. Another is purpura hemorrhagica. Purpura hemorrhagica, and another name is autoimmune autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura. Thrombocytopenic purpura. Dear audience, you know in ITP there is production of antibody against thrombocyte and this antibody is autoantibody. So, it is called autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura. Tell the audience if anybody suffers from ITP, if anybody suffers from essential thrombocytopenic purpura, if anybody suffers from primary thrombocytopenic purpura or from purpura hemorrhagica or from autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura, what may be the clinical presentations of that patient. Now come to presentations of ITP. Dear audience, in ITP you know there is decreased platelet count, there is thrombocytopenia. So, what may be the presentations? Presentation is purpuric spot. Patient may come to you with purpuric spot. Patient may come to you with hemorrhagic manifestations. Hemorrhagic manifestations 
लाइक हेमोरेजिक मेनिफेस्टेशन लाइक गाम ब्लीडिंग नेजल ब्लीडिंग इट इज कॉल्ड इपिस्टक्सिस इपिस्टक्सिस पारेक्टल ब्लीडिंग पेशेंट में कॉम्पी विथ हेमाचूरिया पेशेंट में कॉम टी यू विथ मेनोरेजिया सो दीज आर दी डिफरेंट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पेशेंट सफरिंग फ्रॉम आई टी पी सो इफ एनीबडी सफर फ्रॉम आई टी पी एंड इफ यू सस्पेक्ट क्लिनिकली इट कुड बी केस ऑफ आई टी पी हाउ कैन यू डायग्नोज इन लेबोरेटरी नाउ कम टू लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस ऑफ आई टी पी लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस of ITP first we have to do blood examination blood examination bone marrow examination bone marrow examination detection of antiplatelet antibody detection of antiplatelet antibody so blood examination bone marrow examination and detection of antiplatelet antibody first come to blood examination first come to blood examination blood examination there are ends you know itp there is decreased platelet count so there is hemorrhagic manifestations in blood first we have to do bleeding time as it is a case of thrombocytopenia decreased platelet count so bleeding time is prolonged bleeding time will be prolonged then coagulation time or clotting time the clotting time or coagulation time will be normal then we have to do hemoglobin it will be reduced it will be reduced then the patient is anemic then we have to do esr it will be elevated it will be elevated then we have to do chronic test chronic test it will be positive it will be positive then we have to do peripheral blood film peripheral blood film you know in peripheral blood film we search for rbc wbc and platelet first come to rbc series rbc series the cells of rbc series show hypochromia and microcytosis that is cells of rbc cells are microcytic and hypochromic and hypochromic then wbc series wbc series cells are mature cells are mature and show normal count or leukocytosis or leukocytosis there are ends at the time or during the episode of hemorrhage there will be leukocytosis platelet decreased 
in number. Let let's say decreased in number in the film examined. So the informations in peripheral blood film cells are microcytic and hypochromic RBG series. Cells are mature and show normal count or leukocytosis WBC series. Platelet decreased in number. Sometimes a small and large atypical platelet may be found. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes a small and large atypical platelet found. Dear audience, we have to do total leukocyte count also. The total leukocyte count may be normal or show leukocytosis. When leukocytosis during the episode of hemorrhage, during the episode of hemorrhage there will be leukocytosis. We can recall hemorrhage is one of the cause of leukocytosis. So, during the episode of hemorrhage, total count of dose will be increased that is leukocytosis. Then differential leukocyte count, it may be normal distribution, normal distribution or during the episode of hemorrhage or during the episode of hemorrhage, there will be neutrophil predominance. or neutrophil predominance. When predominance? During the episode of hemorrhage. Otherwise, differential count is within normal distributions. Now, come to bone marrow examination. Bone marrow examination. Dear audience, we know in bone marrow, we see the cellularity, we see the erythropoiesis, granulopoiesis, myeloid erythrodesio, platelet, etc. Now, come to bone marrow findings of ITP that is idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Marrow is hypercellular. Marrow is hypercellular with increased myeloid erythroid ratio. So, marrow is hypercellular with increased myeloid erythroid ratio. Erythropoiesis Erythropoiesis is active and normoblastic and normoblastic. Granulopoiesis, granulopoiesis is active with all stages of maceration, with all stages of maturation. So, marrow is hypercellular with increased myeloid erythroid ratio, erythropoiesis is active and normoblastic, granulopoiesis is active with all stages of maturation. So, it is not a disease of RBC, not a disease of WBC. What about the megakaryocytes? Megakaryocytes. Megakaryocytes seen. Adequate megakaryocytes in adequate or increased increased in number. So, in the bone marrow, we will see adequate number megakaryocytes or the number of megakaryocytes increased than normal, no parasite found, no parasite found in the marrow examined no parasite found in the marrow examined. Dear audience, it is not a disease of RBC, not a disease of WBC. 
so we'll get the erythropoiesis active and normalastic and get granulopoiesis active with all the maceration but there is normal or adequate or increased in number of megagrisides in bone marrow dear audience there is a question for the learners there is a question for the students if this is blood and if this is bone marrow if this is bone marrow suppose this is the bone marrow normal cavity and this is the bone marrow here we are getting adequate number of megacrocytes or increased number of megacrocytes this is megacrocytes megacrocytes the number of megacrocytes in adequate or increased than normal within the marrow you know from the megacrocytes platelets are formed by the budding process platelets are forming platelets are forming platelets are forming so platelet is coming in the blood coming in the blood the platelets are forming by the budding process from the megacrocytes of the bone marrow and platelets are coming in the blood but why we get thrombocytopenia when we count the platelet in the blood why thrombocytopenia i recall the question adequate number of megacrocytes in the bone marrow that are producing by budding process platelets still then why there is platelets is decreased in blood instead of adequate number of megacrocytes in the bone marrow answer is that as there is formation of nt platelet antibody as there is formation of anti platelet antibody the platelet that is forming from the megacrocyte is coming in the blood from the bone just at the at this point the antibody the antibody the antibody catches the platelet at the antibody catches the platelet the platelet is destroyed here so although there is sufficient number of megacrocytes in the bone marrow although there is production of platelet by budding process from the megacrocytes the produced megacrocytes are destroyed by the anti platelet antibody so although there is adequate number of megacrocytes in the bone marrow there is thrombocytopenia in blood last one detection of detection of nt platelet antibody detection of nt platelet antibody and detection of nt platelet antibody in blood is the diagnostic tool of itp again detection of nt platelet antibody in blood is the diagnostic tool of itp dear students there is another question why it is called itp why it is called idiopathic the answer is like this the cause of such type of thrombocytopenia is not known so it is called itp but we know there is production of anti platelet antibody and this anti platelet antibody is associated with the thrombocytopenia so now the cause is known what is the cause production of anti platelet antibody is the cause of itp is still then why it is called idiopathic is still then why it is called idiopathic is still then it is called idiopathic because why anti platelet antibody is formed it is not clear why anti platelet antibody is formed it is not clear so still then it is called itp this is all about itp and thrombocytopenia to adapt to this thanks all